All right, we're here with Ashley Lawrence, member of the Canadian National Women's Soccer Team. Ashley, thank you so much for doing this with us. No problem. Thank you for having me. Now, can you put it towards the feeling of being told that you qualified for the Rio team? This is your first time at the Olympics. What's that like when you're told you're going to the Olympics? Uh, I mean, it was just a surreal feeling. Um, you know, I've always dreamt of representing my country, and, you know, I specifically remember watching Canada back in, you know, the 2012 Olympics, and, you know, I was at home cheering them on with my family. Um, I specifically, specifically remember the bronze medal match against France and, you know, just watching Diana Matheson, one of my idols scoring the winning goal. Um, uh, just the moment, that moment that I had, I was so inspired and I always knew that I wanted to, you know, have that effect on, you know, future generations and, and a nation. So, you know, just getting that call and um, hearing that message that I officially made it, it just, it was just so amazing, you know, because all the hard work that I put in and all these other girls just to officially hear it, it was just something I cannot describe. Now, you talked about London and watching the 2012 Olympics on TV and Diana Matheson. Now you're a teammate of Diana Matheson. You're a teammate of a Christine Sinclair. What has that been like for you to come onto the team and see these, these iconic you know, players not, no longer as idols, but now they're your equals or your teammates? Yeah, again, that's just another thing, um, you know, just to get adjusted to. I mean, um, at, at first I was, you know, a bit starstruck myself because these players are my idols. I've looked up to them and now I'm having meals with them and training with them. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a transition, but they've been so well um, with their leadership, both on and off the field, just to make myself feel welcomed and, you know, the other players as well. So it's been a, it's been a smooth transition and, you know, I'm just thankful to be able to train with them, but also just their character as people. It's really helped the process a lot. You're heading to the Olympics and it's it's a huge international scene. You're playing in packed stadiums, but there's so much more going on at the Olympics. You have the opening ceremonies, you have that interaction with different athletes at the village. As a first time Olympian, how do you make sure that you're not overwhelmed by the moment and that you actually are able to take time to enjoy? Um, I think we've actually talked about this as a team. Um, and it, again, it's nice to have people who have that experience, who've been there. Um, just to hear their insight, but also for us, it's our first time. So it's finding that balance of, um, you know, enjoying the moment, but it's also we're there for, you know, a mission, a focus, and we have that shared model. Um, you know, ultimately we want a podium, and we have certain steps, um, short-term goals that we need to accomplish in order to reach the podium. So I think it's just finding um, a balance of both, you know, not over-complicating it where it's, we're not enjoying ourselves, but having that balance where it's not more to one side or the other. So ultimately, it's a great experience in Rio. That's great, Ashley. Thank you so much for doing this, and best of luck to you and your team in Rio. Thank you. Cool.